All right, so before you get all like, women's are not worth it, men, they are beautiful creatures and we are equal and we should shut up. Just shut up and listen. Because I'm not saying that she should be bowing before you and kissing your ass, no. But if you're interested in having a woman revere you, respect you, and want to get with you, you are going to love this video. So why don't you drop me? One of these. When it comes to dudes, right, there are a ton of different variations, right? You've got simps, you've got nice guys, you've got good dudes, you've got strong men, you've got alphas, you've got betas, you also have God tier. That is the level that we're shooting for today. And if you do the things that I'm gonna tell you to do, gentlemen, good news, God tier, you are. Number one, you drive a Lamborghini. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Or am I? <laughs> I? I totally am. But what I'm not kidding about is being financially stable. All right, there's nothing sexier, nothing more attractive, nothing more like godlike than being financially stable. It doesn't mean that you're killing it to the point of like having Maseratis and like nice cars and crazy stuff or material possessions, but it means that you are financially stable. You're not spending money you don't have. A woman isn't going to respect you or worship you if she's got to support your ass. This is an undisputable fact. She wants to be with the guy that is resourceful, that has his shit together, that isn't wasting his time and worrying about things that he can't control. He's going after it, he's getting it, and he is financially financially stable. The second thing that makes somebody want to worship you is you're not kissing their ass. There is zero chance that anybody's going to want to worship you or respect you or think you're a god among men if you're somebody that bends over and simps. Gentlemen, do not simp. Do not be a nice guy. Be the man that you are destined to be, which is calm, confident, and competent. All right? If you're somebody that is a people pleaser, no. If you're somebody that tells people what they want to hear just so that they'll like you, no. If you're somebody that does what other people want you to do, even though you know it's a bad idea? No! Number three, you've got high standards. Not only for other people, but for yourself. This is something that's incredibly rare in today's world because it seems every time I look around, all these people are compromising, right? They're compromising their dignity, their integrity. But if you have high standards and other people know this, they are not going to take advantage of you. They're also going to respect you more and want to be with you because nobody respects or wants to be with somebody who's a simp or doesn't respect themselves. Number four, you dress like a sex machine. And what I mean by this is somebody who pays attention to their style. They're not just wearing what their girlfriend buys them. No! They understand that style is their responsibility. There is nothing more attractive than a dude who walks in a room and he is put together. When you dress well, guys, it's a game changer in terms of the way that other people respect you, respond to you, but perceive you. If you think for a hot second that somebody's going to respect you or worship you when you dress like shit, no way. Gentlemen, don't be stupid. Also, don't be ugly. Uh-oh. Now, I'm not saying that you need to be like chiseled Greek god-like status, but you gotta make sure that you look good. Gentlemen, this is also something that you gotta understand, right? A lot of guys are like, yo, it's superficial. No, it's not. It's reality. It's also the most competitive time in human history right now. If you want to be set apart from other dudes, if you want to be respected and worshipped, you gotta make sure that you look good. You gotta make sure your hair is straight. You gotta make sure your grooming game is strong and your skin needs to be sexy. But the good news, that's actually the easiest part of them all because if you develop a solid skincare routine, your skin is going to look amazing. Now, I know what you're thinking. Tish Hanley. 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 God tier skincare. Gentlemen, the reason why everybody's talking about Tish Hanley is because it is the best, most uncomplicated skincare system out there for men. The quality of the products is next freaking level. All right, we've cut out the middleman, which means we can offer you premium products that work. That is the key, that are good for your skin, that are going to help you look handsome as hell. And the beautiful thing is that when you start actually using Tiege Hanley, you're going to be amazed that instantly your face is going to look better, it's going to be clearer, your skin tone is going to be more even, you're going to have less wrinkles, you're going to have less breakouts and pimples. You are going to be a god. You're ready to have a godly complexion. Guys, hit the link down below this video. It's special. It's going to give you 30% off your first month at Tiege Hanley. You're also going to get to grab an amazing free gift. you got to go to the link though to to check out what the gift is. They're always changing, and this month it is insane. Anyway, hit the link and then choose the system. We've got three different levels. Level one comes with your core four products. A face wash, use that twice a day, exfoliating scrub twice a week, and then a moisturizer, one for the morning, one for the evening. Those are the core four products that every single one of you needs to use at a minimum. Now, if you're a little bit older, you could go with level two, which comes with the core four products, but also an anti-aging eye cream to fight dark circles, puffiness, and also crow's feet, or kick it up 
up to God Tier Level 3, which is what I use, that comes with the Core 4 products, an anti-aging eye cream, plus the anti-aging super serum, which literally is like liquid gold. It's gonna help even your skin tone and make your face look incredible. That's Level 3. Guys, hit the link down below. The other cool thing is that every single system is gonna come with this. It's an instruction card, which tells you what time of day, to use what product, in what order, and even how much. We've taken all the guesswork, all the excuses, the prices are insane, and with this 30% off discount, you literally got no excuse not to have a godlike complexion. Guys, skincare, it's essential for every single one of you to do. It is super competitive out there, and you need every advantage over your competition possible, whether or not it's for a job or a spicy ass senorita. And you need to understand that if somebody looks at you in the first three seconds, they have just formed an opinion. If your face is handsome, good news, you win. If it's oily or blackhead, or you're not sexy, you lose. With T. Shanley on your face, all you gonna do is win, 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 no matter what. Got T. Shanley on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I walk into the building, everybody's hands go up. Hit the link down below and get started today so your face looks handsome and I don't have to rap anymore. Now that your face is handsome, we gotta talk about your body, which is actually the next thing that will make people worship you. Have a good physique. Now, I'm not saying you gotta have six pack abs or glutes of steel, but you gotta have a decent body. Your body fat can't be like over like 20%. Now, I'm not saying that dad bods can't get action, but if you want somebody to worship you, you've gotta be in decent shape. If you see a dude and he's got a nice body, you know a few things. Number one, he is disciplined. Number two, he has pride in his appearance. And number three, he is a hard worker. All three of those things are sexy. Speaking of sexy, the next thing to make somebody worship you, oh my God, Brenda, I love him, is be awesome at being awesome. Who's your daddy? You know what I'm talking about. Exactly. The reason is because most dudes are horrible because we watch too much of the movies and we think that is what a woman wants. The truth is, porn is a lot of things. Reality is not one of them. If you want to be amazing, you got to slow down. You got to take your time. You got to understand that seduction starts before you get naked. Think of a woman as a spicy sports car, okay? Great analogy. You don't just hop in a Lambo, pop it into fifth gear and think it's gonna just take off and perform, it will not. You gotta get in, nice and slow. Boom, first gear, ease off the clutch, a little bit of gas, whoa. Second gear, a little faster. Third gear, a little faster. Fourth gear, fifth gear, you are speeding all over town and she's like, oh no. Right, and then what's happening, exactly? No, Becky, he did things to me that made me go, oh my God. Right, because her ex-boyfriend Brad did not. The next way to make somebody worship you, right, I'm talking like begging for your attention, is be interesting and exciting. All right, now I'm not saying you gotta be like jumping out of planes or anything like that, but you can't be a dummy. You also can't be boring, all right? If she's always gotta be the one planning, if she's always gotta be the one that's dragging your ass off the couch to go do things, this isn't fun. It's also not exciting. And the last way to make somebody worship you is to be strong mentally, physically, emotionally. All right, three things. All three of them are critical in terms of you being an amazing dude. It's gonna help you be more confident. Confidence is sexy, all right? It's also gonna make you more well-rounded as an individual. There are way too many dudes out there that have issues from their past they've never dealt with or they've got issues with themselves that they've never dealt with. Gentlemen, it's about being secure in who you are. If it means going to therapy, if it means talking to somebody, if it means apologizing, if it means finally having those hard conversations, you deserve it because you are worth it. And when you do this amazing things are gonna happen. Every single aspect of your life will get better when you feel good about yourself and you take care of yourself mentally and emotionally. Do not allow other people to put you down. Get those toxic people out of your life. If there's somebody around you that makes you feel worse about yourself, get rid of them. You don't need them because you're too good. You are amazing. And if you implement the strategies deployed in this video, you are gonna be God tier and women or dudes or whatever you're into will worship you.